I had here, right? Only from here I have to holler members and friends. So today is day three working on this hen house. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, it may drizzle a little bit, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just scrounge around the yard for some wood, try and get these windows in, build up this wall, build up that wall a little bit. I got some, 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 um, some type of a venting system hair starting to get in my face here. Some sort of a, I'm going to put a little a couple of things in here for venting. Uh, maybe work in there. I don't know. If I find our star, I'll bring the, I brought the tripod out, right? So I'll bring it out and stand it there. And, so the camera isn't always moving around, right? <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, members and friends. This is a tool I hardly ever use. Uh, my hands are really getting sore. Like, really getting sore. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how to use this. I guess you just take this and put it in there and tighten it up, right? That's what I'm going to do, assuming that I can do this. Um, you know, I kind of want to talk to you about the nonprofit and stuff and just, you know, that kind of stuff in general, right? You know, remind people why I'm doing this. I'm doing it for several reasons. One, because I'm trying to control weeds. You know, two, I'm trying to control raccoons and their... Uh, decrepit ways with their uh, toiletry habits. Let's see. And then, uh, what do you call it? You know, promote that dream with the nonprofit, right? That, you know, if we have, if we have universal child care in our communities, you know, what would we as parents want for our kids to learn? And I think, you know, harvesting our own foods or being in touch with, you know, the earth and tomatoes and potatoes and herbs and that kind of stuff, birds, you know, then uh, that's good, right? That's what we want for our kids, especially the ones that live in the city. So everything I do when it comes to this stuff is pretty much just eyeballing it. And I've got to think, right? So if this opens up, we kind of want this to protect, protect, uh, the rain will from uh, we don't want the rain to go in there, right? How far out? So if it's raining, you know, I don't know. I can always put I'm putting windows in here. So maybe out a little more. I could always put a little gutter, but, you know, again, we want this to be kid-friendly, right? So, you know, I'm not just making it for my grandson. I'm making it for my grandson and his little friends. You know, whether they come by and visit or whether I do daycare remains to be seen yet, right? Um, so, maybe just a little more. say that'd be pretty good, right? And then I have to drill a hole. We'll try this, members and friends. I don't know. My hands are pretty weak, right? I don't even know if I can do this, but we're going to try it right now because it's impossible to hammer a nail through this. I don't even have the strength to push it down into the wood. Plus, I'm afraid it's going to kick back up on me or something yet. You 
need strength for this. I got no strength left. I slept on the couch last night. I don't know if it's just me or if it's because I'm dealing with hard wood. This, this wood is so heavy. Nothing, nothing's going through here. Very little. Oh God. I'm gonna try hammering a nail in there first. <laughs> <laughs> I only got like not even an eighth of the an inch doing all that. Okay, I think I, I think I know what's wrong here. Watch the cord too. I had it in reverse. <laughs> like I said, this is not one of my familiar tools. Ah, ah! Don't go near the camera. Come over here. Get out of the way. So, I put a little hole in there. Now I'm gonna drill it. Now it's working. It still kind of frightens me a little bit though, because I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not designed for this stuff, right? In terms of like, you know, strength and, I guess to come back, you push reverse and then you go up. So we're about a half an inch in. Watch that doesn't, don't pull on that. You don't want it to fall on you. Now I have to use some elbow grease. I just want to get into the stud, right? So, no, I think we're okay. You want to pass me a nail? I want a three inch nail. Where? I want a three inch nail. Where? There's a box down there. They're like this three inch nail. This one? No, underneath there's a little box there with nails in them. Look underneath there, there's. Look for a box of nails. This? Do you think my little grandson will grow up to become a carpenter? Yes. I don't know. Did you find it? Yes. Thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> we did it, people. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to secure this thing, make sure it's equal on both sides. We'll be back. Okay, so it's starting to rain here. <laughs> so, that's what I got so far. Right? I may come underneath there. Oh, hold on. Can you, where are we? Can you see? I may come underneath that and drill a hole and put in a couple screws at the end. Right? Like four or five. Ooh, where's the finger? Around four or five just to try and bring that up so it doesn't continue to swoop down, right? Uh, but for now, I'm hoping the rain will subside, so I'm not gonna bring anything in. I'm just gonna go in for a couple of minutes. It's already slowing down, I can feel it. So, it's off and on. And looking at it from here, you can see this is getting wet, right? That's all wet. But it doesn't seem to be so far getting underneath in there. I don't know. Alrighty, yo. So it's just raining out here too much. You can see the water. Doesn't look like it's going inside so far. Hmm. 
Alrighty, yo. So yesterday I didn't work on this, although I did buy a little bit of wood for it. And uh, it doesn't look like it's going to rain too much today, although it's wet everywhere. <coughs> this is <coughs> my workspace. <coughs> and I have some sod, discounted sod, in my trunk. So I'm going to try and lay some of that out and see if it catches because it's kind of like half dead. It's been rolled up for all summer, right? But we're going to see if we can lay that down in there. But first I'm going to start with the hen house and getting those windows in. Okay? Okay, members and friends. This is a neglected area of my yard. And instead of looking at the negative, <laughs> which is all these weeds in my greenhouse. It's, it's quite green in here, people. Um, <laughs> I started cutting down blackberries, but you know, you can only do so much in a day, right? So, uh, oh, this raspberry bush is just going crazy. It's just creeping right up into here. I don't know what this is, but should grown into a bush. Um, I'm going to pull up some old videos. I don't know. I've got them on an external hard drive. Maybe I'll be able to locate one or two where this area that I'm standing in used to have nothing. It was just a playground for raccoons. Not to say it's still not a playground for raccoons because at this point it still is. But Instead of looking at the negative in terms of weeds and whatnot and, you know, mix match half put together, still kind of waiting to be done situation here. Let's look about let's look at the accomplishments that's been made so far. Oh yeah, what do you want to say? What you gonna tell them? Say hello members and friends. Say hello members and friends. <laughs> okay, what do you want to say? I talk. Yeah, well, you like to look in through the camera. Okay, what do you at, want to say? At this holes. Uh, uh, now have to zoom in. At this hole. Uh huh. This hole. What are you doing with those holes? Are you going to plant some seeds in there? Yes. Yeah, potato seeds? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, say talk to you soon, members and friends. I'll talk to you soon, my friends. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do. Since I'm doing a little bit of everything, it seems, because I'm going to cut, I'm going to try and cut the grass, and then I'm going to try and lay some of this sod down, right? Because I only got seven rolls. But thing is, it's been rolled up all summer long, so it needs to be kind of laid out, right? But uh, you know, moving along with this stuff, because you can see it's very damp, and this is not what you want for chickens, at least not what I want. Eventually, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a heater, and I'm going to dry it out. But it needs to be a little more enclosed before I do that, right? Now, my landlady, she has chickens too, right? That's how we got Ladybird Pearl, because uh, her and her husband gave her to me. She was a little problematic for them, uh, disrupting the, the, what do you call it? The flock, right? And Mr. Lace was lonely, so, you know, kind of worked out good for Ladybird Pearl. <laughs> right? So, she said... My landlady, she said, oh, but, you know, chickens, they don't, out here in the West Coast, they don't really need this kind of stuff. Right? She says I'm kind of being a little overzealous with it, right? Because I, on Mr. Hen, uh, Mr., Mr., Mr. Lace's pen, there is foam in his little cubby there too, right? But he never sleeps in it anyway. He just always likes to sleep on his perch. But I'm going to do this anyway, um, you know, because this is a nesting area. And you never know, we might end up getting some little chickadees or something hatching on their own. And just the fact that if you have it, and obviously I've been collecting it, right? Now I can use it. It's either use it or throw it out, one or the other. I collected it for a reason, so I'm going to use it for a reason. And then, of course, I'm going to put a wall here. So uh, my goal for today is, well, put the wall in there. Get these windows installed, just like these ones. Cut the grass tidy up a little bit and get a few pieces of sod laid down and oh yes and my little grandson I, I swear he has tel telepathy I'm looking at the fire pit and I'm like oh 
It's not a bad day. It's not extremely warm. Yeah, you can talk about the fire pit. <laughs> it's not extremely warm. I don't like working in the heat, but anyway. And it's not extremely cold. It's a little chilly, but I'm moving around, so I don't really feel it. I do kind of, but it's still early in the day. So I'm thinking I'll probably be out here all day. Of course, my inside is trashing up, right? But I can't do both. I can't do inside and then not work on outside. I can't not work on outside and work on the inside. So I'm thinking to spark up the fire pit and throw in some chicken. because I got a chicken in my fridge that I bought yesterday. Yesterday or day before? No. Day before? <laughs> anyway, I bought a chicken. So I got a chicken in my fridge and uh, I'm outside all day. So who's going to cook it? So I'm thinking maybe I should just spark up the fire pit and uh, throw it in there. Maybe around 3 o'clock or something. 3, 4 around four or five it only and needs a couple of hours right i talk so i'm I thinking talk. this and then my little grandson says uh there's a fire pit yeah he says uh where's the fire sticks he said this is a good fire stick right there yeah for mar marshmallows and this one you think is a good one yes for marshmallows and i know where marshmallows are too so maybe we're going to get some chicken and some baked potatoes by the end of the day on a knowing quick yeah, some chicken. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how long this video is going to be because it's going to be an all-dayer here. So I'm just showing you and walking you through it, right? If I was to do it, this is the way I would do it. <laughs> As you can see, I cut those pieces in there. I'm going to put it in this way, right into there. I've already got it started. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, members and friends, I'm having a heck, in a heck of a time with this camera here. Anyway, I know you can't really see me. You know, it's kind of funky in here, man. I keep moving this thing around. Anyway, what I want to talk about is, you see this? Okay. I got this from Home Depot, right? Because they used to put their pallets out there for people that, you know, do stuff like me, right? They don't have a lot of money. I mean, some pallets you can't take, right? They get shipped back to the manufacturer of the wood. And, uh, but, you know, oftentimes there's things that get damaged or, like, this is obviously packing for something. And what I'm using it for is perfect. Right? And, of course, you have to collect this stuff as you go. No, don't touch my, my bag. You have, to touch, you have to collect this stuff as you go along, right? So that eventually you have enough to use it, right? And, uh, you know, that's what my kids like to call me a hoarder, right? And, yeah, we probably don't need this for chickens, but it can get pretty damp in B.C., and it can get pretty windy and really cold. Last year we had a cold snap. That's when we got Mr. Lace was when that cold snap was out there. It was like 20 below. I've been in this house for five years. I've never had my pipes frozen until that two-day window. <coughs> and that's when the girls found Mr. Lace, right? They brought him home in the 20 below weather snap. And uh, that's how he ended up in my kitchen for six, six weeks. And so, um, you know, it, it, it does happen, right? Uh, Will this be as good as my kitchen? Well, probably not, right? But it will suffice for what I'm trying to do here in terms of uh, trying to provide, you know, a fairly decent environment for some hens, right? That will more than likely produce eggs. So, 
I just want to thank Home Depot again because upper management, the big guys, the bureaucrats, the ones, the ones that aren't in the trenches per se, you know, they want to shut everything down. They want to make it so that us little people can't get a hold of this free stuff that, you know, one man's junk is another man's treasure. And, you know, I'm like, I'm standing up for the guys at Home Depot, the ones that I know. I don't know them personally by name or whatever, but, you know, I know them by sight and by talking to them a few times. And uh, I give them kudos for giving me permission to go in there and, you know, scoop up on a few things. But unfortunately, other people were using Home Depot's uh, wood collection bin for recycling as a garbage dump. Yeah. Kind of like what was going on over here down the road, right? And the men that were working in the in the facility, right, were doing more more uh, cleanup of that area than they were working in the store. So that's what provoked management to shut everything down. But unfortunately, what's happening though is it's going to really limit people like me, right? That you know, have a problematic yard and we don't know what to do with it other than to build things around it to control the weed infestation and anything else that comes along with it, right? And uh, you can see it's an ongoing process. It's not something that happens overnight, right? And it takes a lot of commitment, right? But I'm kind of looking forward to the hen house after it's all said and done. And, uh, you know... I would think it would be an ideal situation to have for a community daycare. So there's always that aspect that I'm selling, right? I sell that dream, members and friends. Don't forget that. So I'm just adding some little pieces into this part that I just cut in that kind of has a, an indentation on it just to give it that little bit of more, you know, warmth, I guess you could say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Okay, I'll be back. I talk. Hold on, say something, say goodbye, members and friends. We'll talk goodbye. again soon. Goodbye, members and friends. Can you see yourself? Yes. Oh. Okay then. Okay, so the nice thing about styrofoam is it it's really hard to make it it's a it's a really um it's a difficult <laughs> substance to algae up and it takes a lot to make it algae up or mold and it doesn't really mold people put it in their gardens the people next door they put it in their gardens right but I'm just slivering down oops I'm just slivering this down here right so I can stick that in there what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scoop this up and put it down in there uh, chickens like to eat this crap, so you got to be careful with it, right? Other than that, it makes good for insulation. Okay, so for the ones that are the perfectionists, like myself, some things you just have to ignore. <laughs> You're never going to get it completely straight, right? And you just piece it in as best as you can, fill in little gaps, whatever, right? I'm almost done. All right, just a little bit, and then I'm going to build that wall. I'm going to have to put something here, right, to prevent crud from getting in here, so I'll put a little bit of styrofoam in there as well. Okay, so this is where it gets hard for me <laughs> when I have to start cutting this kind of stuff because, uh, first of all, I don't even have a proper workspace, right? Second of all, you know, this stuff wobbles when it's not being held down properly, and I'm not very strong. To begin with not. no but this is again something from Home Depot which I'd like to think that you know it becomes available again at some point in the future and uh, it's not plywood but I think it will work for what I need but it's a question of trying to get this thing sawed so hold on <coughs> okay so this is for the people who question whether I do this stuff myself. Um, my son tells me this is not his forte. This is my forte. So, 
because it's my forte, it doesn't become his responsibility. Right? So it's my forte. I don't know what your forte is, but I'm sure it will grow up to be something like this. So I don't I don't know if this wood will cut with the with this. I may have to get my uh, jigsaw. Because when Dan was down there in the basement doing whatever Dan was doing, he cut some of this stuff with a jigsaw. So first, I'm going to try with the skill saw. Stay quiet. I was pushing it. But I have to finish the job. So what made it do that? Stay quiet. See, I'm too small for this crap. I can't reach it. And I can't go up on this table. Because if I go up on this table, I'll break it. It's wobbling. That's why. That's why it kicked. Think so? Yeah. Oh, my little grandson believes in me. So that's good. I know. I See, I that. can't do it this way because I can't. This is kind of hard. I'm not double jointed. I don't even know if you can see that. Uh, friends. I got a bike. Yeah, Andre's got a bike. It's a from the store. So as you can see, I struggle with this shit. Oh. It's because it's it's down. It needs to be level. I have nothing to reach the level on. Nana. Stay quiet. Hold on. Nana's gonna do it this way. You will be good job. Huh? Good job. Good job, eh? Oh, yeah. I think we can do it now, members and friends. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> do it this way, maybe. And then sometimes we make our work harder for ourselves. As you can see, I was rushing around with this piece of wood. I think I put the one, wrong one on. <laughs> so anyway, I have to now take a hand, little hand saw here and try and saw this stuff off because I already hammered it on, right? But, uh, you know, you don't want an inch and a half or, you know, interfering with the window there, so. I'm telling you, this is better than the gym. I don't do the gym. It's quite, quite the little task. Anyway, I think I'm going to put a little, a little perch right here. Anyway, I want to make it flush with this. So, what I'm noticing is chickens, you know, Mr. Lace, even Lady Lady Bird Pearl, they like to announce when they have their little eggs. All that calling, I think that's what it's called, 
cawing in the background, like two two little clips before this. I'm like, went to go see it, and she was standing in here, right? And I was suspicious, so I came and looked. The reason there's one egg there now, too, is because I didn't let them out yesterday, and I didn't collect an egg yesterday. But she just gave me another one, so now there's two in there. <laughs> Okay, so we know there's insulation in there, right? It's a metal door, so it's probably better that the insulation is there because it was cold. Now it's not going to be so cold, right? Because metal attracts coldness. As you can see, I'm starting to put it in the windows. I'm kind of rushing in here, so we'll see. Okay, members and friends. So there's our dinner. <laughs> Part of it anyway. My daughter's going to get some potatoes here and... Wash them up and poke a hole in them and put them on it. Wrap them up in some tin foil. I, I'm really not too sure how to cook a chicken here. That's why we're doing this stuff. It's just kind of in there right now. Uh, yeah, we don't have no coals or anything yet. So, but I need to get this bird cooking. So we'll 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 be back. Hold on. Okay, so I got a little time here now to go back to work. I'm working on this hen house, people. Right. So, uh, so far, that's what we get. I'm, what I'm trying to do is just get some coals, coals started, and then I'm going to put, put that chicken on the coals, right? I think that would probably be better. And my daughter's going to do some potatoes in a little bit. Okay, this thing is sizzling. <laughs> anyway, this is what I've got done so far on this hen house. You can see, I got the windows in. All right, putting some trim on right now. Got that on there. Started to do this. All right. So, and there's dinner. Okay, so now I just, I'm on to my third thing of tinfoil here. And as you can see, I just moved this rack now, and I just put them straight, put this chicken, I'm putting this chicken straight up on these coals now, with these potatoes tucked in too. I don't think these, everything's quite done yet, so hopefully this won't go out. I don't know. I'll just let it cook like that for a little while. I'm gonna put that over there. The, the potatoes don't feel, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've cooked food on a fire. So I'm just kind of letting it sit on these coals. All right, this chicken. Okay, so I don't know what you can see in the dark here, but anyway, it's pretty much done now. Well, not quite done, but it's oh, getting there. Show you the next time I come out. There's dinner. Hey, will you stop throwing things? No, I don't want you, Jimmy. Okay, so now we're going to go inside and see what this bird did. Okay, so here's our chicken. Yeah, just open it up and see what... Let's see, it looks like it's done. Mmm, looks, looks like it's done to me. I see. Mmm. I like the fly. I want to see some moves. Tastes like a chicken? I like the fly. I think we need to put more seasoning on it, though. Huh. Picked up the charcoal taste. I try. This is a white person's chicken. A white person's chicken? Yeah. It so bad. <laughs> no, I want to try. Anyway. If you had no no hydro, no heat, and that's all you had to cook your food on, you'd be like, yum, yum, yum. All right, so there definitely is an art to cooking chicken <laughs> in fire. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't like I had a lot of time to sit up there and pay attention either. I just kind of threw everything in there, right? <laughs> the best I could. You seen what it was, but uh, it's uh, 
it's okay. I mean, some areas got a little bit too charred, but you just don't eat that, right? Mmm, it's okay.